Hi everyone, welcome to this video today where we're going to be talking about how to connect to a vMix call. If you're new to vMix, you might be wondering, well, who's this guy with the beard? Well, my name's Tim and I do a lot of the training videos around here, so hopefully I'll be able to point you in the right direction on how to get vMix call up and running. You might also be wondering, what is vMix call? Why have I been giving this link to use something called vMix call? Well, vMix call is a way to connect a video call into a live video production. So all you need is a browser on a device and a webcam and microphone and you can connect into a live video production. Now the great thing about vMix Call is that you can use it across a lot of different devices. You can use it on a phone, tablet, laptop, Mac or PC and all you need is a modern browser on that. Now I'll go through some of the different browsers you should use on the different devices a bit later on. Now there are a few things that you will need on the computer in order to get up and running. You will need to have a camera and microphone. Now typically with a laptop or a phone or a tablet, you have a webcam and a microphone built in so you won't need to worry about it. However, if you don't, you might need to just get a webcam uh, which has an inbuilt microphone or add an additional microphone to your computer if you want to use that. Now finally, you will need to probably have some headphones as well. Uh, if you use speakers, the audio can spill over into the microphone sometimes, so using headphones will eliminate that. Now you may not necessarily need headphones, it's probably best to test it out in your environment to see whether you might require them or not. If you've been given this link to watch this video, you might have been contacted to be interviewed by somebody. So you can use vMix Call to connect to people from all around the world doing interviews or getting live footage from a sporting event or a concert or something like that. So vMix Call can be used to connect a lot of people together. You may also be wondering, well, why don't I just use one of those other video calling programs? Well, vMix Call integrates directly into vMix. So the person that's producing the live show can bring in a vMix caller really easy and they don't have to worry about managing video and audio. It's just a couple of clicks to add. So that's why we've added uh, an implementation into vMix for video calling. The person that has asked you to connect to vMix Call will either give you a password and a URL to go to vMix Call or they might have given you a URL shortener that you can just click on and then enter your name. It will pre-fill the password for you. We'll go into a little bit more detail about how to use this in the next step of the video. So today on this video, I'm going to show you how to set up vMix Call on a laptop using a browser and also on an iOS device, so an iPad or an iPhone. Now I'm also going to show you how to set up vMix Call on a vMix machine. So if you had vMix installed on your computer, you can actually send a fully produced full HD production to another vMix uh, computer and they can bring that into their production. Now I've just jumped over to my laptop here and I've loaded up my Google Chrome browser. So make sure that if you're using a Mac um, or a Windows PC or a laptop that you're using the latest version of Google Chrome to access vmixcall.com. So as you can see here we've got vmixcall.com in the address bar and I just need to enter my name and my password. So you should have been given a password from your producer to be able to access vMix Call. If not, just send them an email, give them a call and ask for the password. Then we just want to click Join Call. Okay, so in the top left hand corner you'll see it say vmixcall.com wants to use your microphone and use your camera and we want to click Allow on that. Now you'll notice that in the top corner here this is my camera. So this is the camera right here that I'm using for this uh, laptop. So it's in it's an inbuilt laptop and microphone so I can use that easily with vMix Call. So this is the what I'm sending back to the production. So I can move this around, put it anywhere that I like. Um, and now in this main screen here, this is my main production here that I'm sending back and it's going back into my laptop here, right in this middle section. So that's what's being sent back via the producer. Now underneath that you'll see some different things. You've got this little telephone here which will hang up the call. You could also close the browser if you wanted to hang up the call as well. Um, this will prevent my um, camera from going through um, back to the production. Um, this will this is the audio button here. Um, so this will block my audio from going through. Uh, this next button here will remove this little picture so you don't have to look at yourself which might be good. Uh, but typically you want to use that to help frame your shots so make sure that you're always in the center. Uh, and that type of thing. Uh, this will send vMix Call full screen and I can bring that back again. And on the end here we have a chat pop out. So if you wanted to send a chat to the producer, you can send that and then they can see that in the vMix Call window if they open that up. 
So I can, I can close that down. I can you know go for a full screen experience like so if I wanted to, uh, just so I'm focused on what they're sending me. But it's probably best to have this um, video here so that you can kind of see yourself a bit. Okay, so um, typically you're going to be using the webcam and the microphone or something that you've already got installed on the computer, but perhaps you've got a, a PC where you've got additional webcams that you want to use. So in the top right hand corner here, there's a little camera and I can go to manage. So I can manage my camera and my microphone settings. So for example, I actually have another camera here. I've got this Logitech uh, camera that I've got uh, on this laptop. So let's just say I wanted to use that instead of the inbuilt one. I can select it from the drop down menu and I could also go back to the microphone and select a different microphone from that. So I could select this one here. Whoops. So yeah the Logitech Brio. So say I had a USB microphone like this Blue Yeti here that I wanted to use, I could um, have that plugged into the computer and then I could select it from this drop down menu um, in the microphone section. So if we close back here, I just will, all I need to do is refresh the browser and that's going to refresh and allow me to bring in this webcam now as opposed to the one that's attached to the, um, the laptop. So yeah, that's about it. That's how you connect to vMix Call. Remember, Google Chrome uh, and then vmixcall.com to get up and running. Okay, so that is how you can set up vmix call using a, the Chrome browser on a Mac, PC or desktop uh, or, or a laptop I should say. Uh, now we're going to have a look at an iOS device. So I'm going to fire up my iPad here and I'll show you how to set that up. Now keep in mind you will need iOS 11 or later. That's really important uh, in order to use vmix call. So iOS 11 or later. So we're going to jump into it now. Now, as you can see here, all I need to do is enter my name again. I'm at vmixcall.com and I need to enter the password. Okay, so the difference with an iOS device, whether it's an iPad or an iPhone, you will need to use the Safari browser. So you will need to use Safari on an iOS device. So as you can see here, I can select the back or the front camera. I'm going to select the front camera and I'm going to click join call like so. Now it's going to ask me if I want to let vmix call access my microphone and my camera and I do. So I'm going to click allow and so that's me, that's a beard shot right there. And so everything works the same as we had before on the other device. Um, so it's going to load up, I can send, I'm sending back the, you know, the inbuilt webcam, webcam that's going to be on an iPhone or an iPad and the microphone that's attached to it so I can send that to them. So that's how simple it is to set it up on a, um, an iPad. And yeah, so just make sure that you're using Safari and iOS 11 for that one. Um, so one thing to keep in mind is if you're using a like a device like this, you will need to make sure that if you're going to use, um, if you want to have a widescreen camera come in, you have to keep it horizontal. This is a this is what it looks like when it comes in vertically, and typically you want to have it come through horizontally like so. Okay, so that's how you set up vMix Call on an iOS device. Remember Safari and iOS 11 or later. So I've shown you how to set up vMix Call on an iPhone or an iPad, so I thought I'd show you how to set it up on an Android device as well. So I've downloaded the latest version of Google Chrome onto my Samsung Galaxy. Now you could use the latest version of Firefox as well if you had that, but we're going to show you how to do it in Chrome today. So up the top in the address bar, you'll see it say vmixcall.com, uh, and then underneath that I can enter my name and then use the password that's been given to me via my producer. Now underneath that you'll see that I can select the back or the front camera. So I'm going to select the back camera. Now keep in mind, depending on what phone you've got and how the camera reacts, it will send through a different um, different video. So if you're holding it vertically, it's going to send through a vertical video. Um, if you're holding it you know, horizontally, it's going to send through a uh, landscape video. So you might find that the front and the back camera might not send through a fully widescreen video or something like that. So it's probably best to test out each camera and see how that's going to send through before connecting to the live production. So fully test it out before connecting live. I'm going to click join call and it's going to ask me if vmixcall.com can use my um, camera and my microphone and I want to allow that. So as you can see there, that's my camera now that's on the little guy down here and this is me connected to my production. Okay, so that's how you connect to an Android device. Um, you just need the latest version of Google Chrome um, or Firefox. Uh, and go to vmixcall.com. Now you probably need a newer version of Android as well, so something probably like Android 7 or above, which will be available on most new phones. Now as I mentioned before, using a browser you're going to be sending at, at most a 
HD 720p signal to the live production. Um, that's adaptive, so depending on your the quality of your internet connection, uh, vMix Core will determine how high you can send through to the live production. And they can also control some of the things as well, like sending you back a lower quality one just to try and maintain a good internet connection for you. Uh, and that type of thing. So a lot of the stuff can be controlled from the producer. So just a friendly reminder that making a video call does require the internet. So you will need to have some good upload speeds to be sending uh, HD video. So if you wanna send 720 or 1080p video, make sure that you have a few megabit. If you're sending 1080, you probably want five to 10. So just keep that in mind if you want the best quality video that you're going to be sending to your producer. Okay, so finally, if you did actually have vMix yourself, whether it's a permanent copy of vMix or maybe you've downloaded the trial, you can actually connect vMix to vMix at 1080p. So I'll quickly show you how to do that now on this laptop. So now that I'm here in vMix, if I wanna to connect to a call, I just need to go to add input and then go to video call. Now, if you're familiar with vMix, you'll know that you can use this section to host a call. So if you wanna add somebody to your video production, you can create the password here to send to them or use this link. Now you can also use this area to connect to a call. So if I click up here, I can connect to the call um, that I've been given to by my producer. So I can enter the password here that they've given me and I can enter my name. Now underneath that, you'll see a return feed. So that's going to determine what I'm sending to the host of the call. So for the video source, I can select that, I can select the video bandwidth, and I can select the audio source that I'm going to send them as well. So you'll notice here that you can select 1080p 4 megabit, and there are also some different variations of 720 as well. So if I selected 1080p 4 megabit, um, I'm going to be sending a full HD production to them. So if you are using this, keep in mind you are going to need a lot of internet bandwidth. So typically the rule of thumb is 50%. So if you're, if you're connecting to them at four megabit, you probably need to have like around eight megabit upload speeds. Um, so make sure that you keep that in mind when connecting. Now underneath that, you can see low latency mode. Now I wouldn't recommend using this. I would only recommend using this if you have a really fast internet connection. So fiber or something like that um, on both ends. And you would also wanna be in close proximity as well. For example, if I wanted to connect from Australia to the US, I'm going to have issues if I use this. So keep that in mind. Only use low latency mode if you're in close proximity and you have really fast internet connections. Now, if you are going to use this mode, make sure that you test it thoroughly before going live. Now, when you're ready to connect to the vMix call, just click OK down the bottom. Okay, so that's about it. I think for vMix call and how to set it up on different devices, you know, you can use a browser if you wanted to, um, or you can use vMix itself. Now, if you did want to create a really cool production, you know, you try, wanted to use vMix call, you could just download the free trial if you wanted to uh, and, and connect it to a vMix call in 1080p with a fully produced video. Now, um, if you do have any questions about vMix Call, I'm going to link some uh, a knowledge base guide below for some additional network troubleshooting if you might need to use that. Uh, but if you do have any technical questions, please send us an email via our website on the support page. It's really difficult to answer, you know, technical diagnostical questions with um, a YouTube comment. So feel free to send us an email via the website. If you want to try out vMix for 60 days, you can do so. We have a free trial on our website. No watermarking, it's the full version. You can have eight vMix calls if you wanted on that one. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vMix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.